नमस्कार टू ऑल द ऑडियंस ऑफ पी गुरु चैनल एज आई ऑलवेज मेंशन इट्स वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई एम ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू इंटरेक्ट विद द ऑडियंस ऑफ द पी गुरु चैनल बिकॉज दे आर वेरी एरुडाइट नॉलेजेबल एंड दे गिव सम ऑफ द इंटरेस्टिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड कमेंट्स आई थैंक द चैनल आई थैंक श्री आयर फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग दिस चैनल एंड ऑपरचुनिटी ऑफकोर्स टूडे Uh, I was told by many people to talk about the Bangalore Range, and because it has occupied a major uh, space and uh, center of uh, attraction. If you ask me, actually, the calamity under given by the Bangalore Range is uh, nothing new. It's similar to various other cities in uh, Chennai or Hyderabad or various other cities. Nothing, but. Uh, Bangalore being uh, one of the major IT centers, it has uh, attracted more attention and other thing. Otherwise, all the cities are having a similar type of a problem. In Bangalore, for instance, it's not that the whole of Bangalore was under water or anything. That is one of the myth which has been created because of the propaganda. Or, you know, the press always wants to highlight, exaggerate another. There are large portions of Bangalore which were not affected. The eastern portion was the major one. Very interestingly, the old Bangalore was not much affected, which was as per plan. Like Jayanagar and various other areas were not so much affected. Comparatively, the new so-called Bangalore, which IT corridor, which was uh, more affected, significantly affected, because many constructions have come over the, uh, you know, what you may loosely call the lakes and uh, various uh, water flowing. Uh, areas and uh, so the fundamental problem in all these cities if you ask me uh, one can use the word it's not apathy it is a corruption the contractor engineer corporator and official of uh, uh, municipal bodies are the prime culprits they form a group and various uh, type of uh, for instance recently there was one uh, tower was uh, blasted in uh, delhi uh, so much uh, coverage and so much discussion but a tower cannot uh, come up in 2 uh, 3 days it should have taken years for it to be built of course it was uh, demolished in uh, 10 seconds or something but it couldn't it couldn't have been built in 10 seconds unless uh, you know the uh, our pranic uh, Uh, the, you know, Mayan comes and uh, builds it. It's not possible. Who gave approval? Who are all involved in providing water connection, power connection? So hundreds of these officials should have been sacked, punished, fined. No discussion on that. No type of a major. Again and again, it was uh, told only the owners of the towers and uh, various. Uh, same way in discussion about this uh, flooding. nobody discusses about who gave permission for the buildings to come up on these uh, culverts who gave permission for uh, you know the buildings to come up on the uh, lakes somebody should have given otherwise and who gave permission for water connection who gave permission for uh, power connection you know this is a very messy situation i always maintain and today also i will maintain if you create an excel sheet for the last 15 years for all the municipal places like surat ahmedabad delhi bombay then you were uh, in south uh, hyderabad bangalore chennai all places create one first column name of the corporator second column name of the contractor third column name of engineer or whatever fourth column is the administrator create you know it won't exceed i am sure more than 1000 even if you take last 15 years and uh, declare all their assets frozen i'm serious you will increase india's gdp by you know significant portion actually reaching uh, 5 trillion is going to be easy such a level of uh, unbelievable corruption is taking place in all these uh, local bodies we talk about ease of doing business and uh, sit at vigyan bond that doesn't help actually central cabinet may be clean but what is required is the lower level activity and uh, 
So this is what is the primary cause for the flooding. Obviously, the rains were not uh, of any ordinary magnitude. Last uh, something like 50 years, uh, Bangalore has not seen such uh, heavy rains. Huge amount of rains uh, within a period of uh, one day, two day is uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, major cities like New York, California, everywhere you see flooding of the magnitude of the rain is also to be considered. But the most important point is the flooding would not have taken place of this magnitude if uh, these, uh, uh, what one can call buildings and various other uh, things have not come on the places where water flows outside the system. So this is, uh, you know, very simple. You block a drainage and then you shout, go on shouting about, uh, you know, water is uh, flooding and other thing. So this is uh, very, very critical and important. And it has got nothing to do with being a IT oriented city or non IT oriented city or anything. All type of, because it is IT oriented, it uh, got more advertisement, it got more. So first and foremost, I think is we must focus on uh, regulating these uh, bodies which are expected to be uh, providing the regulation. But these bodies are highly corrupt. So a city like Chennai or a city like Hyderabad or uh, Bangalore, what is the way out? Very simple. If you ask me, it is very difficult to redo the city. Let me be very blunt. Unless you, you know, demolish so many places and all this. Much better would be to develop uh, planned, properly organized cities adjacent to these cities, maybe, you know, 50 or uh, 100 miles away from these cities. But separate and uh, people with uh, significant amount of integrity running those shows. Like uh, Navi, Navi Mumbai is no different from Mumbai. That's no use. Giving the name itself is not enough. We have to have a significant separate bodies. For instance, to some extent, you can loosely call how Chandigarh was developed. So similarly, organized, well-planned, well-regulated, most important is civic communities are to be provided full-fledgedly in terms of uh, drainage, in terms of water connection, in terms of power connection and other things, based upon need, not greed of these uh, uh, groups of people. If you ask me, that would be the only solution. Trying to rectify these uh, cities is not going to work because uh, most of the acts have been violated. Shops and Establishment Act has been violated. Every uh, apartment uh, where the you know the car parking is to be provided has been converted into shops and uh, converted into uh, clinics, uh, converted into you know. Uh, uh, boutiques and uh, converted into beauty parlors and it's not uh, going to work in terms of uh, uh, rectifying this. One way is to create alternate cities. Just like you know we did uh, attempt uh, in order to clean up the engineering education, we didn't so much succeed. We created some alternatives in terms of providing better uh, system and uh, in order to obviate the difficulties faced by the existing ones. So, we must uh, create alternate uh, cities, which are, uh, and old cities can continue to be there. It's not that you cannot, uh, and of course, the linkages are also becoming very important. And there are reports suggesting, uh, you know, with all your uh, modern uh, loop uh, and other system, uh, uh, rail system as well as road system. For instance, Bangalore and uh, Chennai, they say one can travel in two hours. If that is the nature of the case, then it's going to be dramatically altering the way in which we are living. People may stay in one city and then work in another city, what we call. So, but the cities are not having adequate amount of civic issues. From that point of view, we are not civilized. We are only really developed. And uh, this is something I think we should... Uh, keep in the back of the mind, corruption is one of the major cancerous issues which is affecting the functioning of lower level uh, organizations 
we are not talking about the delhi cabinet we are more uh, i mean central cabinet we are more talking about uh, local level and uh, this is where the change has to come this is where the revolution has to start in order to have a organized well organized developed system thank you very much